Today we are trying a thing called AutoCAD architecture. Well, it's basically the same as AutoCAD. You still have your commands using the spacebar and typing stuff. So for example, this is a house or a floor plan with a room there and maybe a function hall right there. What makes it different is we have a command called walls, doors, openings, stuff like that. We could just trace along. Let's say, for example, this brick house. Something that goes like this, and then press C to close. And the difference here is that it's already in a 3D model, even if we're just duping it in plan view. And just like Revit, actually this is before Revit, before Revit was acquired by Autodesk. AutoCAD architecture was meant for architectural works. So if you see, they're kind of the same. The only difference is this is not a complete BIM or building information modeling package. There. So anything that I want to edit can be done in my basic properties or parameters. For example, the design of the stairs, I would like to change the width to 1200 millimeters and the height to 3200 millimeters. It automatically adjusts the model. However, if we want to take control of display, then we can also check the cut line angle to 45 degrees. See? Stuff like that. And then you have your stair styles as well. You can add some railings. Let's say our standard railing will look like that. You could click on add railing on the stair flight or the stair. And there I have my railings. You can also add some tags for annotation, such as the door tag. Click on this door, maybe put the tag here, just in front of it. I would like to change door number three and edit that style to something like a pocket door. So it changes the type of door. And you can also resize it as well, just like that. So these are called AEC objects. In SketchUp, the similar thing here will be dynamic components. A window right here will do fine. Or I could browse for another kind of window style. Maybe this bay window. Let's try this bay window somewhere there. Then to become bigger or wider. Last but not the least, maybe I would like to add a roof. Click three, four, five, six, and this. You see that it's actually a 3D model. Now we can change the pitch of the roof here in the angle. So can see the slope to 15 degrees and to look like that. I want to change the design to have some overhangs, maybe around 1,200 and thickness to 300. See, display setting is more of how it looks like in the plan views. And that's a very simple interface overview of AutoCAD architecture so that you don't need to manually put parameters in all of your blocks. Have fun, Yarabun. I used this before switching to Revit, ArchiCAD, Vectorworks, Chief Architect, and Layout. Bye-bye.